Hi guys. It is a just a cold, gray, just yuck, depressing day here in the end times in the Finger Lakes region of New York where uh what what the hell did I come up here for? Would someone would someone please remind me why I came here? I tend to forget what the fuck I was thinking when I thought that I want to spend uh, my remaining summer my remaining summers in upstate New York. But anyway, it is although it feels like January. Uh, I understand it is Thursday, uh, May. 30th, 2019, and uh, so anyway, as I mentioned yesterday, I am I am wondering whether or not to start uh, taking a peek into the whole UFO story uh, here as part of uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe as I figure out which direction to take this channel which is just completely floundering around uh, at this point. I've lost all track of this channel uh, as I move over to Collapse Chronicles. But anyway, so I want to thank Alert Tribes member Rhonda for sending me this story, which you can decide for yourself uh, what this has to do with UFOs. Uh, my guess what this has to do with UFOs is you're getting ready to see an explosion in the number of UFO reports. And we can thank uh, our favorite billionaire, we love to hate, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is now uh, getting... What is Elon Musk in addition to getting ready to unleash thousands of uh, UFO reports. What is Brother Elon up to today figuring out how to fuck things up even more? This is coming from physics.org, the website phys.org, asking the question. Uh, this was originally appeared uh, in the San Jose Mercury News I used to, uh, I've had several things published in the San Jose Mercury News in a former lifetime, an excellent newspaper, the San Jose Mercury News, and reprinted on fizz.org, asking the question, are Elon Musk and SpaceX about to ruin our view of the night sky? for our We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. <clears throat> Already the first 60 of SpaceX's planned 12,000 internet delivery satellites have appeared as a decidedly unnatural string of lights in the night sky. Scientists worry the company's plan to ring Earth with orbiting Starlink devices will wreck our view of the cosmos. This is astronomer Ronald Dremel from the Turin Astrophysical Observatory in Italy talking to Forbes magazine. Quote, it changes how the night sky looks. Starlink would ruin the sky for everyone on the planet." Close quote. SpaceX did not immediately respond to a request for comment, I bet. The company, founded in 2002 and owned by its CEO, Elon Musk, st says Starlink will, quote, connect end users with low latency, whatever that means, high bandwidth broadband services by providing continual coverage around the world using a network of thousands of satellites in low earth orbit, close quote. What could go wrong with this picture? 
the priority, according to SpaceX, is, quote, reaching those people who are not yet connected to provide reliable and affordable broadband internet services, close quote. Dutch astronomer Cees Bassa tweeted Saturday that the visibility of the Starlink satellites will depend on a viewer's latitude at 52 degrees latitude. For example, around Seattle, the orbiting machines, each bearing a reflective solar panel, will be visible all night during summer, according to Bassa. Uh, I, I have, anyway, I won't get off on that rant about these reflective solar panels other than to say if anybody has ever heard about, uh, what's his name, James Gilliland or something, his little UFO uh, ranch outside of, uh, you know, up there in Washington State, you know, looking at these UFOs, what... James and those clueless morons are looking at our satellites with these solar flares on them. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this story. Uh, that's a whole nother UFO, unadulterated horseshit UFO rant that I've already covered several times on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. All right, back to <clears throat> Bass, uh, Dr. Bassa. For locations at lower latitudes, the situation is only slightly better. At 34 degrees latitude, say Los Angeles, and I think Austin, Texas is through here, up to 10 Starlink satellites will be visible during twilight. At those latitudes, the satellites will be invisible for only four hours uh, in a typical summer's night. Close quote. The string of lights seen after the initial Starlink launch on May 23rd will soon no longer be visible once the satellites drift away from each other during orbit, according to a report Monday in Gizmodo. SpaceX is best known for its rocket program that Musk claims will ultimately deliver humans to Mars, uh -huh, and which was used to launch a Tesla Roadster into orbit. But astronomers told Forbes they worry the firm's Starlink satellites will interfere with gathering of imagery. On Sunday, Musk addressed that concern, tweeting that SpaceX would, quote, make sure that Starlink has no material effect on discoveries in astronomy. Uh huh. Uh, our friend Elon re responding uh, to a tweet asking if later batches of launched Starlink satellites could reflect less light downward, also tweeted Sunday that he had sent a note to his Starlink team the previous week asking about reducing their reflectivity. He claimed that the satellites, quote, will not be seen by anyone unless looking very carefully. Musk continued, quote, potentially helping billions of economically disadvantaged people is the greater good, close quote, over polluting the sky, the night sky with his goddamn satellites to put another billion dollars in his pockets. But thousands of internet beaming satellites also pose a risk to other satellites in orbit, according to a report earlier this month in Scientific American, uh, quoting uh, that magazine, quote, although they promise to revolutionize global telecommunications, these efforts 
are not free of peril as the number of satellites inexorably grows, so too does the risk of creating dangerous debris that could threaten the continued safe use of Earth orbit. Yes, the magazine reported noting that the planet is currently spinning amid 2,000 active satellites. I think that's a typo, guys. I think it's 20,000 uh, satellites, but if it's not, it will be soon. Getting back to Scientific American Magazine, quote, A worst-case scenario would be the Kessler Syndrome, a positive feedback loop in which debris-generating collisions create more and more collisions, which in turn create more and more debris, rendering parts of Earth's orbit essentially unusable." Close quote. SpaceX in April modified its agreement with the Federal Communications Commission saying it would lower by half the planned altitudes of more than 1,500 of its satellites, but that would only mean the satellites stay in orbit even longer, according to scientific American. So we would like to thank Elon Musk for one more reason why we are so fucked, but uh, we could sure use some decent internet uh, in uh, the, I don't know, uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, that is certainly reason to uh, destroy the night sky and uh, just fuck up the, the what well, is beyond the stratosphere. Just make a, a garbage dump uh, out, out of inner outer space. Thank you, Elon Musk. Go fuck yourself, Elon Musk and the UFO you rode in on. Would you please teleport yourself to Mars? You fucking asshole. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day and figure out how to teleport myself to Mars because I've had just about enough of uh, this bullshit in late May on the blue planet or should it be called the Gray Planet? Bye, guys.